welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And in this part, we're going to enhance the RGB image with the narrowband image we did in the last part. If anything looks a little bit different, apologies. Uh, when I was closing a couple things out, Pixin site crashed on me and I lost some of the steps. So I had to recreate them and they may not be exactly identical. So let's get to it. So we have our narrowband on workspace 2, RGBs on workspace 1. There's a couple different ways to uh, combine this data. One of them, which I've not had much success with, is up here in script, utilities, NB, RGB combination. Uh, you know, we could do RGB there. I believe the bandwidth is 120. The source for the R is going to be HA clone. HA clone should be HA clone DBE. And that's one of the things that changed uh, was my names are different. So it's, it's going to be HA clone. Uh, narrow band is or nanometers is seven. And then B is going to be the hydrogen beta clone. And that is a 12 nanometer. And if we hit apply, what do we get? Now, as you can see, I don't like that. Now, I could tweak the scales and different things, but... Uh, I've found that using pixel math works a little bit easier for me. I'm just going to cancel that. And we come up here to process all processes. Pixel math it can look a little daunting because we have to do math and expressions and, you know, A plus B equals C type stuff. And uh, luckily, there's a fair amount of tutorials out there and the equations you're going to see. Not mine. I can't remember where I got them. Uh, but they, they worked pretty well for me in my test runs. So we're going to go with those. So I've already created a process icon over here that already has my equations in there. However, we're going to have to modify them. Uh, we go to the equation editor. As you can see, I've got HA clone instead of HA clone DBE. So everywhere I have that, I'm going to have to delete the underscore DBE. And on the G, we're not using 03, so that is just going to be a simple dollar sign T. And for the blue, Need to remove the underscore DBE as well. And our boost factor will be the same. We'll click OK. And yeah, so I unchecked use a single expression and went into the expression editor and created the expressions as needed. And you know, symbol, they call them symbols here. Uh, we can also think of them as variables if you're into programming. So boost factor equals one here. So everywhere you see boost factor, that's going to be basically equal to one. So let's see here. And we could change that. Now, all that does is that means if we were using boost factor in all three and we wanted to do a boost factor of two, we only have to modify it once instead of uh, two or three different times. Um, but that's good for now. So we'll click OK. And then we can just drag and drop, but we also want to look at uh, generate output, yes. Um, I'm going to give it a new ID. I'm going to create a new image and I'm going to give it a new ID as well. 
and so that we can do a staring compare. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to make this a little bit smaller, run it on that, and I could not find very much evidence failed. Interesting. So let me debug this and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So if we look at the error message, it's got the little tick underneath the uh, dash and the name is actually HA underscore clone, not HA dash clone. Uh, so that was a mistake in my expression building, which is perfectly fine. And make sure I change it in hydrogen beta, yes. We'll just go ahead and pop or run it on there now. And there we go. We'll close this. Or actually, we'll just uh, minimize this for a second. Bring it down here. And we'll do side by side. It looks a little purplish. Hydrogen beta is possibly a little too heavy. What we can do is we can say boost factor HA and symbols HA. And then we'll do HB. HB, and we'll, let's make this a 0 0.8 and this a 1.2. And if we run it on that, it does not like that. Numeric literal. All right, so instead of using the boost factor, I just plugged in the numbers I wanted. And uh, what do I get this time? A little less purplish. I'll put it over here. Are these two, it's a little less purplish over here, not by much. And if I compare it to here, definitely boosted the signal. So let me get rid of the first one, and we will. We will use still use H alpha and H bravo or beta. Let's drop that to a point five. And let's see what that gets us. I like that a lot better, I think. So compared to this one. A lot less purplish. And compared to the original, it's a lot brighter. I like that. I like that. So we will leave that right there. We'll minimize the RGB. Bring close this one out. Bring this RGB over here. Minimize that, bring it over here, but open it back up. So, as you can see, pixel math, pretty powerful, and in my opinion, just a slight bit easier to use than the NBRGB combination script. Um, so, uh, we're going to leave it right there, and uh, 
I want to say thanks everybody for watching. Hope you get something out of this. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another video from the Astro Magic Junior channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy. And in the lower left is our subscription button. Please like this video, subscribe if you so choose. As always, Chris guys, have a good one, and remember Duke.